Hey guys, this is DVader0086 here, and we're playing some Landmark today. So, uh, right now, I'm just going to take you through the absolute basics of Landmark. So, over here we've got our inventory here, and when you start create your character, you start off with some starter armor, um, and you start off with some starter gear as well, too. Um, we have the Adventurer's Sprint Boots, that's what you start off with. Uh, we have the... Oh, where is it? We have the um, Super Cooled Power Cannon, which is the Water Cannon, if you take the Tech one. And I need to find the armor. Here we go, Super Cooled Power Armor. Uh, always remember to match up your water weapons with your um, water armor and you can choose the armor that you want you can have it at uh, this one's heavy armor it's about um, health over um, or reducing in damage and health over um, stuff like uh, uh, damage um, the one that I had on is a light armor it, it, it takes damage over health so you're kind of squishy but you're doing higher damage than you would with the heavy armor. So, and we have some accessories here. It says siphon converts some of the damage from the uh, from the base during on um, the basic attack to life. Accessories grant a weaker version of siphon if you don't use a shadow weapon. In addition to many other effects, any other effects that you've gained. Um, so both these accessories uh, basically get um, siphon. And then, of course, my basic attacks add Siphon. Um, basic attacks uh, erupt happens more often. And then fire accessories... Um, I'm sorry, that's shadow accessories, not both. Fire accessories grant a weaker version of erupt if you are not using a fire weapon. I don't use any fire weapons. I'm going to be using the um, water cannon here. Um, and I need to, oh, I need to go ahead and I need to uh, put this on play and back off here. And I have the adventure sprint, oh, looks like we're going to be doing this. Right, this will take care of him real quick. Jeez. Take care of you bastards first. In case you're wondering, this is the darkness sword, and yes, we do have a little bit of lag here. It's not just you, it's me. Um, Alright, back to the inventory. And we're going to equip that water cannon again. This is a starter weapon, the shadow sword or shadow shield that you saw. That is not a starter weapon. That would explain why it's so freaking powerful. So, basically, the left click is a splash attack or a burst attack, and the right click is a machine gun water attack. Usually the ones that cost energy, which are the right-click ones, they usually do more damage because they cost energy. And the left one never costs energy. At least no weapon that I've made has ever costed me energy when I've used it. So it's always good in a pinch. go and sometimes these these are basically little guys that you can summon on your um, well I guess they used to call them claims I don't know what they call them right now they change the terminology of this game quite a bit all right well let's switch to my earth and guns and let's equip that uh, um, earth armor that I had on before and this is the one this is also a starter weapon you get a choice of a electric uh, sword uh, of these um, pistol weapons. And I believe the sword and shield they um, they do um, that's a medium armor. The water is a heavy and then this one's a light. So this is the stuff that you get. So those boots that I equipped it earlier 
Uh, these are the basic boots that you have. These are adventure boots. They, you can press the shift key and you can run for some energy. You can do jumps and stuff like that. Um, we'll be getting back to combat here in a little bit. I'm going to show off some of the boots. Um, so that's the starting boots that you get. These are the Nimbus boots. The Nimbus boots are basically, they give you a double jump. So, while you're out of combat, no, I mean not like out of combat, but while you're not doing combat, you can press the sh spacebar key to do an extra flip or an extra jump in the air. So, well, that's dead already. Oh, no. But yeah, while you're not shooting, you can do a flip in the air or something like that. And then there's sort a of right click attack that does a, a rock fall. That's why you want to match it. It's because if you're using a, the correct weapon, you can use... Um, well, you get a better effect. Like, for example, I can get Harden or something like that. The weapons can give it to you too, but you want to match it up. The accessories, I don't really worry about that much. So... Ow. And uh, Alright, so we're going to put these guns away and we'll play around with the sword and shield a little bit. Um, these are the breeze boots. That's what I had on before. Here is the boots of bounding. If you remember, um, if you remember the um, Smallville TV series, uh, basically, you'll feel right at home with this. Superman can't fly, but he can jump. And that's the R right button. This is a soul-sucking button. And then this is the Shadow Slash. I'm guessing that's what the names of these attacks are. But still. And then you could just... You don't even have to hold for a full charge. You could just... This is a good long-distance jump. Takes a little bit of energy. So... Just wait for these guys to respawn, and we'll just jump right into combat again. Woo! All right. So we go. So we're gonna put on the my final boots, my favorite boots. They're my favorite because of the fact that they're the um, the breeze boots, and the breeze boots makes you glide on air. So. Basically, yep, you can jump up in the air, and you can sort of glide. And yes, you do glide, it's not flying, but you can hold the, shift, the space button or as long as you want, uh, and... So, like, for example, if you find yourself moving backwards and you're getting towards a cliff while you're falling, just, you know, activate the boots. There's another... Ooh, more lumen... I'll explain Lumen in a little bit, once we put my grappling hook up here. Come on. There we go. Grapple. I find these boots very handy, especially if I can't... If I'm grappling up, and I can't seem to get on top of the platform, at least I can glide around until I can find a surface to, to find my way up. So again... I'm going to glide into battle here, like Superman, again, but not jumping this time. There we go. Alright, so, we're going to turn this off, and basically my dummies are going to go back to dummies. They're not going to be attacking me anymore. Okay, so Lumen. This is your little Lumen, this is the Lumen station, basically. Basically, in this game, there's two ways to get recipes or props or stuff like that. You can go to the, 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 the Lumen Station and you can unlock a recipe. Um, they got all kinds of stuff. Um, you can buy additional recipes for weapons and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, the thing that I don't like is if you mouse over it, it tells you this is a weapon, but it doesn't really give you um, what type it is. You have to build it in order to find out what type it is, or you have to buy it, buy the 
recipe in order to know what type it is. So, I mean, you could take a guess, but if you're trying to match it up for a specific type, um, like if you're a beginner, uh, it's kind of tricky. So, and you could buy um, pretty much an armor of any type. So, like, for example, there's a heavy earth armor, there's a heavy medium armor, or there's an earth medium armor, sorry, and there's a there's an earth heavy armor. Um, I'm using I'm using I'm a founder. I've got different costumes and stuff like that as well too. Oops, that's a friends button. Oh, come on. Showcase allows you to teleport to other people's claims. Um, you've got I've got some of the founders accessories right here. The Mastercraft bracer. Uh, this little thing right here. Um, I'll explain the harvesting stuff in a little bit, but the the harvesting axes. They used to have, um, the, the harvesting stuff, they used to have multiple tiers in this game. And this was parking back way to alpha, maybe even closed beta as well too. But they removed the tiered worlds. They're all tier one now. Um, and basically what you're sitting there doing is you're chopping down trees and you're harvesting stuff. But they used to have, um, you know, like axes and stuff like that. They were multi tiered founders were told, okay, well, your pickaxe right here can top down any tree in the woods, doesn't matter what tier it is, and uh, you can go ahead and you can chop down any tree in the woods, and uh, but you can't mine everything. It's only available for tier one. So now that everything's tier one, it doesn't matter anymore. So I'm going to go off. I'm going to go. I'm going to show off some costumes first before I go. This is the Trailblazers costume. The blue one. It's the only one that I know of that has a cape. Oops, there's a showcase again. Um, but like I said, here, here you can vote on other people's stuff. And you can go um, go take a look at uh, um, other people's things and go visit them. You can click on that thing and go visit them. Um, okay, so we have the... Come on, that's not the boots abounding. Yeah, that's the power armor. Okay, so here's the costumes. So we have this one. This one is the oh, another founder's one, I believe. It's it's a Magitek one. Um, and Magitek is something, as far as I know, exclusive to Landmark. I know this game is heavily based off of EverQuest Next, which is a game that's no longer coming out anymore. I know I realize that people are pissed about that. I'm disappointed. I never played an EverQuest game before. It was going to be my first EverQuest game ever, and unfortunately, um, unfortunately, that's not going to come to be. Here's a Year Zero outfit. Um, so this is like for the. I don't think that. I mean, this game has been in, in alpha since 2014, I think. So it's technically been two years. We don't have a Year One outfit, sadly. Uh, Quarters Regalia. Here's, it's a little bit more of a fantasy. So this is a fantasy meets sci-fi thing. So fantasy and sci-fi is is fine. Um, holiday sweater. This is for Christmas. So I look like a, an elf, sort of. Um, I think we already saw... Oh, this is the blue one. Oh, that's the year. That's the year zero again. Okay, I didn't get to read that one. Um, holiday sweater. Okay, this is the. Okay. Tech commander's gear. Okay, that's the other one I wanted. So this is a blue version of the red one. This one has. I wouldn't call it a cape. I'd call it more like a. Um, like in some games, they have those little things right there. I guess perhaps if you want to call it a cape, you can. I suppose. So you got the red and the blue, and as far as the nobles regalia goes, I think that's only comes in that color. The courtiers regalia. Okay, so noble regalia is the blue one with the cape. The courtiers regalia is the red one. It has no cape. Um, here's the other holiday one. We got some Halloween ones too. Uh, this is a different holiday sweater. Um. Let's take a look. Where's the Halloween ones? There might only be one Halloween one. It's a skeletal bodysuit. 
Um, those who, um, if you had a founder's pack and you gave away the keys to friends, um, the friends still have this stuff. You know, like all this holiday stuff is still here. So, it's all here in their inventory. Um, unless you're a trailblazer, you won't have this stuff. But I mean, the Halloween stuff is still there. So, alright. So now I'm going to explain how the crafting works a little bit. So, with the Founder's Pickaxe... Oops, that's my sword and shield. There we go. With the Founder's Pickaxe... Uh, they added something called Farsight, and Farsight is one of the tools that you can build, one of the first pickaxes that you could build. I can also chop down trees with this. I don't believe you can do that with a, with a regular pickaxe. Um, and basically it gives you an x-ray view, and it tells you how many how much longer to this resource, that kind of stuff. Um, so I can, hand, I can hand chop down this tree. Um... Here we go. And I can hand... Oops. Come here. There we go. And I can hand pickaxe this stuff. Um, and there's other ones that, that do different things. Like there's ones that allow you to... Okay, well, after you're done mining or something like that, you get a boost in speed. So you can run away if you're in the middle of a of a underground adventure or something like that. Uh, another way to get recipes besides lumens is, of course, drops from underground adventures. So there's two things that you can do. You can do your own adventures and create your own plot. Or, you know, with this thing right here. Oops. Do your own adventures and create your own plot with this right here, your property. Or you can go on adventures, but they're not really scripted like for example you can't make it enemy a friendly or something like that they're all hostile so and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you my drill this is a special drill this one allows me to del potentially double my resources and you can use these on trees I was quite surprised to learn that. and you can earn lumens from killing stuff you can l earn lumens from um, you can earn lumens from killing stuff. You can earn lumens from um, digging as well, too. So there's lots of different ways to do it. Uh, I believe they do have microtransactions in the stores where you can buy their station cash if you have the whole access pass, or you can just buy station cash. And you can buy lumens that way. So there we go. And the drill just makes it easier for me to go ahead and do stuff. Um, these cozy campfires are the only ways, as far as I know, to regain health. Basically, you just drop them, and we're going to go on a cave adventure. Um, and we just drop them, and you can recover your health. So I'm going to go on an underground adventure. And hopefully it's not too difficult. There have been some ones where I was not able to solo them, and some where I was not. And I have light armor on. It's not really going to help me all that much. I mean, it's going to increase my damage. I could put on the other armor but it's for water type so I don't know I guess it really doesn't matter at this point I suppose want to stay alive I suppose I'll have to equip the water armor and every day that you log in they changed it way at the beginning with the alpha you used to have to pay copper which is the easiest metal to find, plentiful all over the place, as a fee to get some extra days on your plot. Nowadays, you just log in and whatever, you know, within a certain amount of days. So you start off with, like, 15. So within 15 days, you log in and it resets and it adds a day. So within 16 days, you log in, it resets, it adds a day. And it can go all the way up to 90 days, which is three months long. So as you could log in every three months and it will keep your... It will just reset and we'll add another, it will add, um, it will just go back to three months. So if you log in once a month, then you'll be good to go. And if you need to go on a three month vacation, then you'll be all set. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and like, equip that extra thick armor so I don't take so much damage, so I don't die. Um, it's not going to be really good for my DPS. Uh oh, it's bloody much. Ah! 
Jeez, I hate those exploding mushrooms. I would have been almost dead if it wasn't for this armor that I'm wearing, so that's a good thing I equipped it. And you're gonna notice some lag. I always notice some lag from... So as long as I'm not equipping a shadow weapon, my basic attacks, we will save in health. And that would be the left click attacks. Oh, there's another mushroom again. Fucking mushrooms. Using the boots. It's abomination. Don't really do the best damage, but I'm I'm strong enough to stay alive at least. There we go. So basically, you're just going through caves, trying to find the way. Oh, good old exploding mushroom. Is there any more loot up there? Let's go take a look. Nope. Thank God for... Thank God for small favors. There we go. Still alive? Not quite dead. All right. Staying alive. Staying alive. Oh, 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 oh. Unfortunately, these things won't die as rapidly without my light armor. Come on. Lumen. Hmm. Must be this way. Usually you go down, you usually don't go up, so you just keep on falling further and further down. And these are called what they call their new term is chaos caves. They have caverns. Um, I think they used just used to be called caves. But you usually don't go up, so I might have gotten turned around at some point. They really don't have a mini map. And this And like I said, usually you don't go up, but they can vary, I suppose. Ooh, cool. Got a recipe. Yeah, I think I'm not going the right way. I got turned around at some point. Alright. Let's just go down and complete this adventure. Go! Sometimes there's a hidden passage. Sometimes you just have to fucking drill. And yes, once we get to our destination, they are completely destructible environments. So if you ever need to make a way into the structure, you can. Oh, cool. 
Got some lumen. Nice. I don't think that's the way to go. So maybe, yeah, maybe I did get turned around. No, usually there's a big room and stuff like that. I'm trying to find it. No. And I can't wait till I get my medium armor because I'll have a good mix of damage and I'll have a good mix of of uh, um good mix of damage and good mix of um health. Oh. And there's only two grapplers that I know of. So there's not really that many grapplers. There's only one, and then there's this one right here is the advanced one. It just grapples you quicker, something like that. I need to find the way up. No! I fell. I think I see it. No. There we go. that. Ah! Jeez. Must be this way, I suppose. Nope, this is the way I came. Oh, no. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Must be this way, then. Yeah, you can get lost even before you even complete your adventure, and I don't know what... I, I think it's absolutely wonderful, but there's only like, you could, it's like a maze before you do it. But it could be frustrating at times. Come on. Okay. Something blew up. It wasn't me. Oh, thank God. Ah, here we go. It's closer than I thought. And here's some gold. Let's mine. Usually you don't know what you're mining unless you can spot visually, and I know gold very well and what it looks like because I usually mine for a lot of it. So... Mm, there's a big, big vein. Oh. Looks like there's a little bit of gold left. There we go. Let's go off with the pistols. Finish up here. So, okay, so here's our mission and there'll be different monsters in here like this is the this is the high falls these are basically humans i suppose i don't know what else you want to call them they're basically your standard humans not everything is human there's dark elves there's um bird people i don't know what they're called because like i said i'm not familiar with everquest next so And I apologize if I was raising my voice. It's kind of hard for me to hear. Uh, I know I've got the microphone volume 
higher than the game volume, but the game volume for me is quite high. So. There we go. Sometimes you'll find chests as well, too. So usually I like to look around for chests. There'll just be a chest, and you just press the F button to open it. And that's all you gotta do. Sometimes they'll be sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Um, in order to complete the adventure, what you gotta do is you have to um, go find the elite. And he'd probably be somewhere in here. And I think I'm familiar with this structure already, so I think I know where the elite is. Oh, the lag. I've got excellent internet speed, and I've got it set to the lowest setting, and it's still getting lag. Sometimes you'll see stuff that looks like chests as well, too. Like they're just like props or something. Come on, suck the souls. There we go. Oh, and yes, you can also aim this blade up as well, too, but I don't think I'm hitting them. There we go. The elite's inside that room in there. There we go. Let's go take down the elite, and the crystal should be. The crystal is not always, but the crystal usually is near the elite. Ah! They're shooting shit at me. I really wish the shield would block stuff too. See if they can chase me. Put a fire down. There we go. And I'm gonna power up on me. Back up at full. There they are. There we go. Whoa! Run away! Run away! Fucker. There we go. Sometimes when you're doing adventures, sometimes, sometimes the thing will already be done. I don't really like it when I have to do that, where I just have to kill, make my way to the crystal, and the crystal's already shining up the sky. This must be the lead over here. Nope, it's just a fucking skeleton. Is what it is. All right, Mr. Skeleton. Baron windbag. I can't hurt you. Yeah, he's just a decoration. Oh well. The crystal should be around here somewhere. 
inside this box, but I haven't killed the elite yet. So, I thought he was in this room, but apparently he is not. Because that crystal would be shining and stuff like that, so I must have to go find him. Finish the job. Because usually, I don't know about low, low graphical graphical settings if it changes the way that it goes. But usually, it shoots up light in the sky, signifying that you're done. And doesn't look like I can find it. Elliot. So, I'm assuming he was in there and I killed him and the fucking light didn't go off. Let's go back to my fire here. There's only the Baron skeleton. Let's see if I can... The crystal's inside this fucking box. And... To be able to drill to it, and yeah, I can't interact with it, which means that the elite's not dead wherever it is. Okay, well I'm gonna shoot this Baron just because I can. Sometimes it's helpful to have a ranged weapon, but no, the elite should be. Let's take a look. Well, I'm going to have to take a look around from the rest of the structure. Then there is an upstairs. But normally he's down there. So I guess they must randomize it quite a bit, I suppose. Yep, here's some more people up here. This must be where the elite is up here. Fucking elite. Yeah, sometimes they move them around. I don't know why. Fucking elite. Die. Okay. There we go, he's dead now. And down we go. And this adventure. And there we go, there's the pillar of light. Let's go use it before something comes back. Because they do respawn. So, here we go. There we go. So it asks you if you want to go to a chaos cap, another chaos cavern. If you click OK, then you basically will move on to another one, and you could just continue from there. I'm gonna go back to my site, wrap up this video. This has been Dvader0086 showing you all the things that you can do in Landmark. Um, and uh, well, that's not all the things you can do, but that's basically the basics of it. You can go adventure, and you can go. Uh, look for materials and stuff like that. So that's your two options. Build, look for materials, and of course, um, the building tools are highly complicated. And of course, just go quest or just kill stuff. So, and they're a completely separate place. They're not roaming around the world. They used to do that in one of the other things. All right, well, this is Dvader0086 saying good night. Have a great day. Uh, 4th of July. This has been filmed on the 4th of July. Have a great 4th of July.